Hi, I'm Bogdan, the owner of DNN Sharp. Welcome to another video in the series of great things or awesome things that you can do with my tokens. And today we will integrate Google Charts into our websites and use my tokens to feed data into it. And we'll follow a practical example because I heard a lot of people complaining about getting the picture, the bigger picture about the event log and what's going on in there. We'll make a pie chart showing different types of error that are exist in the DNN log errors. And what we are going to do, we are going to build a query and I already have it here that basically extracts the uh, event type and account for each of each of them. So you can see I have um, the query here. And now next thing I will go to my website and build a database token and I will use a new namespace for this demo I'll call it um, let's say uh, log reports okay and I will create a new database token that gets me the um, let's say um, entries by type and I will make this a database token put the query here and extract the two columns that I need and that is the error type and the error count next and that should be it if I click on this um, entries here in the admin area it will just get me the first entry in the list but that's enough to get me started next thing we need to get the google charts code into a token so i'll create a constant token that will all hold all the html and javascript code and i will call it this uh, let's say um errors by type pi this will be a constant string here i can input a constant string and what i will do is i will go to the uh, google chart pi page look at their example and grab all the javascript and after that i will also get the div you don't want to get the whole thing here because there are also some HTML head syntax and that will break uh, you will break an existing page remember that um, DNN already puts this on the page the uh, head tags and so on but you are not um, forced to put these elements in the head you can move everything in the body okay so now I have this token and I can really test it just click on it you see here at the bottom the HTML code but also I can see it as an HTML and if I click this there's a pop-up that will open and here I can see the HTML code and this is the sample that I got from Google chart page but now what I want to do is feed my data into this and this is very very easy to do so far I've been instructing people to use Razor to build uh, the JSON because what we need to do now is we need to populate this data and what I suggested to, to people so far is make a for loop over the database token and generate this JSON manually but what I did today I just added a utility method that will dump this uh, JSON with just one line of code but we still need to create a razor script because that that is the method of uh, of the database object so i'll make a new one put it in the same um, namespace log reports 
and here I will call I will call this um, let's say um, uh, errors by type JSON and here I can access the other token log reports that errors by type dot to json arrays and this will basically will create for me an array of, of arrays and there is also a parameter to include headers or not so the first array in the arrays to be the name of the columns but if i look at this this is not needed in this case it's only the entry so i don't need the headers so I'll just pass here false and that's it only I uh, if I name everything correctly except this which is called entries I should also call these errors to be consistent let's see if our JSON stands yes so now we have a JSON and you see it's a, J a JavaScript array of arrays so each array will be one item of the pie. It has a title and a number that is used to compute the pie. So now what I do, see as HTML. Yeah, sorry, this is JSON. Doesn't make sense to see it as uh, HTML. What we need to do is take this JSON, open the pie, and try to feed data into instead of this test array did just delete all of it so now you see we have data at rows and here we just pass the json script that we've created earlier and that's all we need to know maybe also give some names here um, type count and that's it let's save it let's test it let's see it as html and there you go looks like 67 percent are general exceptions and then we have some scheduler exceptions so this this give, gives us a great view at what's going on in the log and it only took me two minutes to build it of course i need to do something with it. i don't want it here in the um, my tokens so I need probably to go I will just go back to this page because here I have an action grid demo and with uh, that also uh, populates data from the same even log table so here probably I could search for let's see if I have any errors related to my tokens yes there se seems to be a few of them so I've also built a um, better view a better uh, view of the data but i need an overview and for this i can use this html module at the top i'll just edit the content i will put the token here that i've created the pi save of course the token is not replaced until i go to module setting html module setting and i enable the token replacement update and here you go now I have a, a reasonable page with an overview of what's going on and a listing with search that is sortable by fields that is filterable. So I really have a um, view of the log that I can use and it took me a few minutes to build. So that's it. I, I, I hope this opens possibilities because this is just one of the many charts supported by Google there are a few of some that are looking really great and you can do really cool stuff really fast and one more thing before i finish that i want to tell you let me go back to the my tokens and uh, let me show you that there is another utility method that um, is likely that you will need at some point and that will be i will just create uh, a new token i'll call it errors by type json as 
object and you can get it as an object so i got it earlier as an array over arrays because that's what google needs but in most cases it will be an array of objects and that's what we are going to do now but i'm going to create actually a script not a token and here we will do the same thing log reports that errors by type to json object array so this is the other call and let me show it to you just click it and now you see each uh, entry in the uh, in the array now it's an object so it has a property value property value so most of the components ex uh, 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 expect a syntax like this from my experience but anyway these are the two utility new utility functions that avoid you from having to loop over the database tokens to build the json manually so it's all built in right now and it's better to build the whole um, chart here in my tokens with a constant token because if you try to build it in an html module then um, the HTML module will drop the script tags and then you could move the script tags in the head in the header of the HTML module but then the tokens are not replaced there so you'll, you'll run into all sorts of issues so it's best to keep everything here in my tokens so I hope this was as much fun for you as it was for me and thank you for your time